You want a drill press. You probably have a simple job and don't want to spend a fortune to buy a standalone drill press. Good news, we have a budget of a budget bargain drill press stand that you can kind of look at as a training wheel to move up to an actual drill press whenever you're ready. This green, yellow, chromed out drill press stand comes in, I don't know, seven different names. A Best, Top Direct, Orgamer Drilling Colette Drill, Amy Amy, UZ Go, Floor Drill Press, KK Moon. There's probably one Chinese manufacturer that distributed this out to a whole bunch of different companies, but it's the green, yellow, chromed out one that has a drill depth of 60 millimeters or 2.3 inches and also rotates to the left, which I have no use for that rotation. Or do I? This video, we're going to assemble this thing step by step. Well, the few steps that are required to put this thing together. The drill, the electric drill you own right now, will it work with this press? Or do you need to buy a new drill and you're not sure which one to purchase? Go to this time right now and I can help you with determining which drill fits or not. If you want to go the simple route, I'll just flat out tell you what Bosch drill I used. I'll leave the link below instead of doing all that dang research. I had to gain access to the collar of my Bosch hammer drill, so I had to remove the auxiliary handle. Remember the word collar, jot that down if you need to. It'll come into play later on for all who haven't narrowed down what drill to purchase and use with this. Open boxing this thing, there are two major components. The top part where the drill is housed slash makeshift spindle. Also on this top portion, there's a crank travel mechanism with a little hole inside of it so you can stick the red handle inside of it and crank the whole mechanism down. The second component is the base made up of the strongest Chinese steel alloy, which is forged and poured and something like that, I guess. The third bag comes with some good reading material and owner's manual showing you how to assemble this thing. Also comes with some sleeves to go on the collar of the hand drill. It also comes with uh, about four different hex keys. That's right, for some reason, they had you assemble this with four different size hex bolts instead of making it simple and just doing two sizes. I don't know why. First step in building this, take the shaft of the top unit mechanism, put it in the base. Take one of the hex keys, I think it's the largest one, tighten it down with the two bolts on the back of the base. Once that's tight and snug, we'll turn our attention to the top, the housing. The part that has the yellow ring where the drill is inserted. We're going to take one of the bushings or sleeves, made it up to the collar. That's right, the part that's right behind the chuck of the drill. We're going to take the ring of the housing, we're going to loosen it up. And once we put the bushing or the sleeve inside the collar, we can now put the whole drill inside the housing and tighten it down. I'll discuss this in depth at the end of the video, but make sure your drill is a 38 to a 43 millimeter sized collar hand drill, otherwise it won't fit into the housing. I know it's confusing, but just bear with me. And then you screw in the red handle, which oddly enough in the manual is called a joystick. I forgot to take a picture, I should have. Right now I'm just operating this thing, getting a good range of motion, spinning the red joystick and seeing how far down it goes. After reading the owner's manual a bit better and digging around the bag, I found a depth adjustment indicator, which you push on the top and screw down with one of the hex keys. Now this thing's basically fully assembled. Aside from bolting it down, securing it down onto whatever surface you're going to be working on, whatever workbench you're going to be working on, this thing's in its finished state. There is one last adjustment that we need to be aware of. It's the adjustment that dictates the whole mechanism, how far up or down it goes. There's two bolts on the back that you can use the hex key to loosen up. And there's a little stop on there. I'll call it the height stop. The manufacturer calls it the highly fixed sleeve. You decide what you want to call it, but it's the mechanism that holds it into place before you tighten it down. It's like a jam nut or a jam sleeve rather. Then once we've determined the correct height, we tighten down the two bolts and the third bolt on the, the height stop. Don't forget that bolt too. And then everything should be secure. I've cargo shot this down to my makeshift workbench because I've got a job that just needs to get done. No excuses. I don't know if I'm being lazy, but I just need to get this job done and I don't have the bolts to cinch this thing down. But I will at the end of this video.
So the whole drill housing actually rotates 90 degrees. And at first I couldn't think of any reason why I'd want to do that. But then it dawned on me after I saw this picture. I could turn it into a makeshift table grinder. Finally got my act together and decided to bolt this thing down to a fixed object. Install the corner bolt and repeat the process about three more times. Make sure the you know, is secure on the on your, on your stand. And after I bolted this thing down, just stay tuned. I'll show you how I zip tied the trigger and connected it to a power strip that's foot actuated. Make things a little bit safer on yourself. And now that I have the stand bolted to a stationary object, why not try to rotate the housing 90 degrees and turn it into a makeshift grinder with a wire wheel? Just try it out, experiment, why not? The reviews on Amazon for this drill stand, four stars, a bunch of five stars, and a few one stars. All those one stars say the same thing. My drill doesn't work with the drill stand, and it's become apparent to me that people, including me, are having a tough time determining whether a drill, their drill, the drill they want to buy, will work for this drill stand. Let me clarify a few things to help you out. When buying this drill stand, it says on there that it facilitates between a 38 millimeter to 43 millimeter collar circumference. Now that's fine and dandy, but what the hell does that mean? Well, we all need a little help sometimes. It's not upfront what the collar size is on a drill. First of all, you're gonna have to search for hammer drills because those are the ones that have a collar, collar designed for an auxiliary handle. And this collar is what is gonna go in the housing. And this collar needs to be the right size. And it's up to you to make sure this collar is the right size. But they don't say that on the manufacturer detail, the specifics, the specs, what size collar they have. You have to go into the comments and search the word collar. And maybe then you'll get lucky and you'll find out that maybe the collar size is 43 millimeters. If you go to the next hammer drill and you type in the word collar in the comments nothing pops up next clue to help you find if your collar is within range to fit go to the amazon questions search in there just type in the word collar i did that in the last one and look 44 millimeters popped up a 44 millimeter circumference sized collar and that's how i found out that this bosch 5500 hammer drill was going to work I searched through the comments, couldn't find anything. So I searched through the questions and somebody asked in there, what size is the collar? 43 millimeter, help me out. In the manual bag, they have a cap to the shaft, but I ended up throwing that away because I found it's a good place to put the tools like the Allen wrenches. All right, this is the end of the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for the next guy and keep this stand in mind if you're getting ready to buy a drill press because well, is it a good value? I don't know. It's up to you. But it isn't huge. It doesn't take up a lot of space in the garage. It's out of the way. And you can use your existing drill if you already have one or buy another drill just to work with it. And who knows? It could be half the price, a third of the price of a decent drill press. And you might be saving yourself a lot of money and time and space. So good luck to all you out there in YouTube land.